I'm currently experiencing the worst thing in the world. The internet has gone down. This is awful. What will I do now? The internet has now not been working for two and a half days. Well, there's only one thing for it. H Hello? Uh, yes, p police please. Well, you know, yesterday I did order a coffee with milk and two sugars. But it did actually taste like it had no milk and one sugar. I took it back and demanded my money back, but it was no treat. I didn't get it back. And apparently I heard there was nothing left I could do. Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, yes, we'll have to pick this conversation up later. I've got a phone call. Wait, hello, Welsh McLevsky here, nervous policeman and camera shy policeman, so I always wear, you know, a purple mask because I'm too scared in case there's a camera, you know, filming at the present moment. Um, uh, right, how may I help you? Uh, oh, uh, hello. Um, now, I I'd like you to arrest some people, please. Right, okay then. Uh, right, who, who would you like me to arrest, please? Well, I'd like you to arrest everybody who works for BT Home Hub. Hang on, yeah, BT Home Hub, they're the internet provider, aren't they? Uh, yes, they are, actually. Right. Okay then, well, well, might I ask what, you know, crime they've committed? Well, my internet has now been down for two and a half days and it hasn't shown any sign of coming back on. Now, I have to spend 25p a day just for the internet, uh, and even on days when the internet isn't working. Now, I bet you don't know how much I have to pay a week just to get the bloody internet. Well, no, I don't know how much it is yet, but if you just give me a minute to work it out, oh, hang on. Oh, uh, yeah, yes, so you, so it's about £1.75. Well, well, yes, I suppose it is £1.75. Uh, well, well, yes, uh, now I demand to know what you are going to do about this obvious crime they've committed. Well, uh, well, unfortunately it's not illegal to, you know, have the internet, you know, not connected for a few days. Uh, I cannot believe what I'm hearing here. I have just spent two and a half days off the internet and I've still got to pay for it. That is 63p! I could have bought two bags of crisps with that money! Now I want to know what you plan to do about this! NOW! Well, first of all, I can understand your frustration, because, you know, a, a similar thing, except without the internet, happened to me the other day, so... You know, I, I can understand your frustration, but, you know... Unfortunately, as I said earlier, it's not, you know, illegal to have the internet turned off for a few days. Now, you know, I, uh, one thing I haven't asked you yet is, you know, what's your name, please? Uh, oh, it, it, it's Jim. Jim Page. Well, Jim, I've got some good news for you. You know, you're, you're going to be on the news later. Well, I've also got some bad news. You're going to be arrested later for, you know, wasting police time. Now hang on, there are people out there who have stolen the internet, paying nothing for it, and they are getting more internet time on it than me, so an actual payer for it. This is an absolute outrage, and I'm the one who's getting arrested for this! I mean, excuse me, but I wasn't told that this was a complete waste of the police's time! Goodbye. Now that's a thing with you police, isn't it? Never happy to help someone when their internet's down, yet when... One of your donuts is missing, you're all for catching a criminal who's done it. It's an absolute outrage. Well, I hope everybody who's ringing you has remembered to not ring if their internet's down. Apparently, having your internet down is not a crime. Well, fuck you, that's what I say. It's the last time I ring the police for something that I need help with. Ridiculous.